Hi, welcome to another video of Code Wrestling and in this video we will try to cover some of the best projects on GitHub that are built using Python. So the first one that we have in the list is Manim. Manim stands for Mathematical Animation Engine. The idea behind this project is to make it easier for people to integrate fun and intuitive animations with graphs and charts in math teaching material, breaking away from the stereotype that learning math has to be boring. Grant runs a YouTube channel called 3 Brown 1 Blue where he uses the Manim library to create and control these animations as required to teach higher mathematics to its audience. Using Manim, you can also create animated videos with precise control over the animations used for your charts and illustration. If this seems like a fun idea to you, you should check out his channel to see the library in action. The next that we have is Deep Face Lab. Deep Face Lab is one of the most fun GitHub projects on Python on this list. Deep Face Lab is a tool that can create deep fake images and videos, allowing you to do a lot of fun stuff such as change, de-age and swap faces. To make things more compelling, you can even change their speech, although this requires proficiency in video editing software. The developer claims that more than 95% of deep fake videos on the internet has been created with this tool. You can find the setup guide and a bunch of face set to get yourself started on the project's GitHub pages. The next one that we have in the list is Airflow. Airflow is an open source workflow management tool for the Apache Software Foundation that is powered by Python. Airflow lets you perform a range of activities on your workflows such as authoring, scheduling and monitoring them. Workflow when defined as code become much easier to manage, test and collaborate. It offers scalability, dynamic pipeline generation and extensibility. The simple user interface makes working with Airflow smooth and its robust integration capabilities with other tools and services help in getting the most out of it by saving time. Airflow is actively being used by some of the big names in the industry such as Adobe, Lyft, Slack, Expedia and many more. The next that we have is GPT-2. GPT-2 is a huge transformer based language model that is trained on an equally massive dataset. Text from over 8 million web pages to be exact. The goal is to predict the next word when given a set or all of the previous words from a context. In simple terms, you give GPT-2 some text and the language model will predict and generate a lengthy continuation of the text of extraordinary quality. I know, it sounds amazing, right? The GitHub repo has the code and the models for OpenAI's paper. Language model are unsupervised multitask learners. While the page mentions the description and a few of caveats of GPT-2. The next that we have is Access Strike. Cross-site scripting, as known as XSS, is a vulnerability that can be extremely annoying and harmful for websites. By injecting malicious code from the client sites, the attacker can cause damage to the website and the data beyond control. Access Strike is essentially an XSS detection suit that is unique in itself. The developer claims that instead of simply testing random payloads, his tool analyzes the websites and generates specially engineered payloads that work. Some of the various features of this tool include context analysis, a powerful fuzzing engine, supports multi-threaded analysis, support for brute forcing payloads from a file, a custom-made HTML and JavaScript parser, and scanning of any outdated JavaScript libraries. The next that we have is Google Images Download. Hardik Vasa's script lets you download hundreds of images of Google to your computer at once. The way this tool works is you install the library, use the command, mention your desired keyword as arguments and let the tool work its magic. Rebound essentially searches for the images with the specific keywords in Google Images Index and once found, downloads them. You can also use the library from another Python file and it would still work as usual. A fun and useful project indeed if you ever need to download image from Google in bulk in just one go. The next that we have is Photon. 
Photon is a powerful and easy to use web crawler that is built using Python. This lightweight and fast crawler follow the guidelines and methodologies from the open source intelligence framework which allows the collection and analysis of information acquired from open or public sources. Some of the many sources Photon can crawl information from include URLs including ones with parameters or social media accounts, emails, files such as PDF, PNG, XML documents, subdomains, JavaScript files. Photon saves all the extracted information in an organized manner, which can even be exported as a JSON file. The tool also offers various options to customize its working, such as controlling the timeout, excluding some URLs, and so much more that we recommend you give it a deep dive. The next that we have is Neural Talk. At its core, Neural Talk is an image captioning project in Python and NumPy that used multi-model recurrent neural networks. Thanks to the improvement in the technology and better hardware support, the developed released Neural Talk 2, which is leaks better and faster than the original Neural Talk. Using a batched implementation, Neural Talk 2 still makes use of RNNs and is based on Torch and can run on a GPU while supporting CNN fine tuning. Although the developer has deprecated the original Neural Talk, it is still available on GitHub for anyone to take a look. The next that we have is Conch. Yes, it is pronounced as C-O-N-C-H, Conch. You can think of Conch as a cross-platform shell language that is powered by Python. Conch makes working with Python even the most basic of its task miles better as it is integrated deeply within Conch. With Conch, instead of typing like $echo2 plus 2, you could get away with using just $2 plus 2 and it would still give you the correct result. How simple is that? Getting started with Conch Cell is super easy too. Just install it with the right command for your environment and you are all set. Conch is available for many package manager including pip, conda, apt, brew and more. As for its feature, Conch is easily scriptable, has a large standard library with typed variable and much more. The next and last that we have is rebound. Compilers can often be extremely frustrating and confusing. The only solution there is then to head over to Stack Overflow or read the documentation. Jonathan and his famous tool Rebound has found a way to make your life easier while dealing with those pesky compiler errors. The way Rebound works is that you run your file with the tool and it will check for any compiler errors present in the file and fetch you any related Stack Overflow thread it can find. Rebound's ability to load threads within the terminal as well as in the browser can be a lifesaver for not just rookies but also veteran coders, saving their time in endlessly searching for answers. At the moment, Rebound only supports Python, Node.js, Ruby, Golang and Java. So yeah, creativity also has no limits. GitHub projects like this that are the perfect showcase of people's creativity and talent. But this is just the tip of the iceberg as Python can be used to carry out a broad range of activities. Granted, you have the know-how and a clear picture of what you want to achieve. As Python continues to evolve, more and more developers will start to use it to build amazing and resourceful projects like the ones we mentioned before. Let this video be a source of inspiration for you to wake up that sleeping idea in your mind and set things into the motion. To eliminate problems of different kinds, I want to alert you to the fact that this video represents just my personal opinion I want to share and you possess every right to disagree with it. If you have more suggestions or ideas, I would love to hear about them. If you have found this video useful, then please do like, subscribe, share and comment. And also don't forget to hit that bell icon as you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning!